Many expats have bought up large plots of rice fields in Bali and are building huge extensive villas. They live in their own world and seem mainly concerned in living life as they have always lived it, only in Bali. Large staffs of servants, they tend to congregate in certain areas resembling gated communities, mainly near Ubud. They associate mainly with each other, spend a lot of time complaining, and have no Balinese friends. They're generally not much interested in the Balinese culture. Ones I met don't go to ceremonies, don't go to Balinese cultural events. They're watching their DVDs. Hundreds of rice fields have been bought up and plowed under for these mansions, which are highly designed by international architects and bear little resemblance to anything Balinese. They both live in and rent out these palaces for huge amounts of money. They expect the remaining Balinese to move their fences so that the large cars can more easily access the villas. The Balinese are bitter, but it's all being done with government approval. After all, it does bring in the dollar. A Balinese told me, if I had a million dollars, I would buy all the villas, plow them under, and plant rice. Not much chance. One million dollars wouldn't buy even one.